Well, guys, it seems like there is some more information surrounding Rich Homie Kwan's passing. You guys know he passed away last week, and his girlfriend was the one to find him. Now, from what she told the 911 operator, he never came in their bedroom last night. He slept on a couch. She was getting their son ready for school, and she put a blanket on him, and then she left, took the ki their kid to school, and she came back and seen that he was unresponsive, called 911. Well, she called his dad, and then she called 911. So now it's being told that Rich Homie Kwan's brother found him on the floor sleep that night with food in his mouth and then proceeded to put him on the couch. So the article says more details have come to light about the death of Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Kwan. The release of a police incident report reveals the rapper's brother found him asleep on the floor with food in his mouth hours before his death. So the article continues and says on Monday, September 9th, the Atlanta Police Department shared an incident report that gives the accounts of Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend and brother, the last people to see the rapper alive on September 5th, the day he died. Rich Homie Kwan's brother Andre Munford reportedly told police that Munford woke up around 3 a.m. and saw the rapper sleep on the floor by the kitchen with food in his mouth. His brother told the officer the scene was very unusual and he picked Kwan up off the floor and put him on the couch. Kwan's girlfriend, Amber Williams, also gave an account to the police. She woke up at 6.45 a.m. to take her kids to school and saw Kwan on the couch. When she returned, Kwan was still on the couch and she went to their room and went back to bed. Around 11 a.m., she woke up to find Kwan still on the couch. When she went to check on him, she noticed his body was cold and he was not breathing and she immediately called 911. Police were called and Rich Homie Kwan was transported to a nearby Grady Hospital in Atlanta where he was pronounced dead. Police saw no signs of foul play and determined no crime was committed. Now a lot of people feel like Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend had something to do with it because after he passed away, three other women basically came out and said that they had some sort of relationship with him. And some people feel like that's the reason why he was sleeping on the couch already was because maybe he was cheating on her and she didn't want to deal with him so he slept on a couch. But now we're hearing that Rich Homie Kwan's brother found him on the floor asleep with food in his mouth and his brother put him on the couch. The crazy thing is nobody like his brother is the one that put him on the couch. He didn't think that he needed a blanket, he just left him there. Maybe he couldn't find a blanket, I don't know. But the girlfriend did say she put a blanket on him I think before she went and took their kid to school. People in the coming section share their thoughts and opinions, and one person said, I'm no genius, but the brother's response to the situation was either they were both high, and he didn't think to call for help, or Rich Homie Kwan does this all the time. Sad situation still. Another user said, my thing is why nobody made sure he was awake. He obviously was heavy into the D word, and everyone was used to him being passed the F out. Someone else said, I feel like he constantly was high and doing ish around family. They probably thought it was just a regular day. Can't imagine what his brother is feeling right now. And this person said this probably could have been prevented had he had smarter people in his circle. And the last person said they clearly have seen him passed out before and it may have appeared like one of those times again. Please don't start blaming his family. I mean, the police said they didn't see any foul play. They didn't see any crime committed. So I feel like a lot of people in the comment section, I agree with their opinion. Like, I feel like maybe Rich Homie Kwan, like he said, he was addicted to pills and stuff like that. So maybe it was one of them times that he was passed out and he normally passes out in front of family and they just put him in the bed or on a couch somewhere and they felt like he was going to be all right or should I say his brother felt like he was going to be alright because you know maybe this is something that happens all the time but it's very unfortunate because obviously this is not one of the times that he was going to be okay but you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below make sure you guys like share subscribe hit the notification bell and I will talk to you guys in the next video okay and yes, number one one operator 7214 what is the location of your emergency all right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, My boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning, put a blanket over him, and now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat.
or anything, and I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um he is. He's um thirty four. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quick, ma'am. Yes. Okay, you gotta get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. He's not here. Yeah, he, he Were not, you able to get him cool. to the floor? Yes, he not. His heart not being like anything. It's the morning. Uh, yeah, Reloaded was a classic for sure. Let's do this. Uh, like, for sure. Like. Belly, you are all that matters. Hey, Belly. You are all that matters. Hey, Belly. You are all that matters. But now, man, I was coming on here to let y'all know. Uh, I was coming on here to let y'all know. Go get, follow the Twitch. I'm finna put something in my, um, on my story. The, uh, the link in my story won't be popping it up. I'm finna be just playing the game and shit. You feel me? I'm, and I finna, we finna turn, we definitely turn it up for the summer. Uh, finna, uh, we definitely turn it up for the summer. I uh, been in Cincinnati, uh, nah, Ohio tonight. Definitely gonna be in Ohio tonight, man, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I been, uh, hey, La, uh, I hate your line, family. Hey, Lorraine, Lorraine, uh, text me, I saw her, bro, I was going through a lot at the time, bro, and I apologize, bro. Nigga be going through a lot sometimes, but I wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even, like, stand up. I ain't gonna say I wouldn't stand the phone, but the phone wouldn't even priority, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I apologize, though, brother. I got beats for your project. Send them to my DM.